Oh, chat, I am excited. Tonight is a wonderful, wonderful night because I was able to drop some lovely, lovely A grade bait on Twitter. And holy hell, did some people take it hook, line, and sinker. We're talking, this worked out tremendously. We have some lovely content to discuss here. Thanks to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, it's beautiful. So, let's uh, let's talk about this really quickly, right? Let's talk about this because I... Ah, oh, I knew this would work. I knew this would work, and it's a good way to get into a good a good mindset before we screw around with video games. Uh, so what happened tonight was uh, this little incident right here at the end of the Leafs and Sens game where the Ottawa Senators picked up a big old victory over the Maple Leafs, but it ended in controversy. Because Ridley Gregg, maybe my new favorite player in the NHL, Ridley Gregg, empty net, all alone, takes the slap shot at point blank range and just, oh, just causes the salt, the salt mines within the underbelly of Toronto. You didn't even know they were there. But, oh, it just exploded like a volcano and rained down upon the hockey world. <laughs> now, I'll get into my thoughts on this in a second, because there is a lot of intertwining with uh, what I put out there on Twitter for my thoughts on this. Um, but also, there, there was some trolling. But Ridley Gregg, absolute beauty. Thank God he didn't miss. Look at that. That's perfect form, by the way. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Perfect form. Uh, in response to this... Morgan Riley cross-checks him in the fucking head. <laughs> now, the first thing, the first thing I will say is that, yeah, obviously he got cross-checked in the head. There isn't anybody that's watched hockey for more than a week, let alone like me, who's been uh, old enough to vividly remember the sport for 25 years now, um, that would watch that play and say... No, nah, nothing's going to happen to him. Of course, something is going to happen to Ridley Gregg. Of course, Sens fans are going to be like, what the fuck? Suspend Morgan Riley. And of course, Leafs fans who have been dying for any signs of pushback from their players. Although the mere presence of Ryan Reeves was supposed to stop stuff like this from happening. Remember, uh, but Leafs fans have been dying, dying for pushback from the Leafs, that bite, that bark. So obviously, uh, if it's announced that Morgan Riley gets fined, I would honestly expect to see a GoFundMe from Leafs fans being like, we'll pay the fine for him because that's our guy. He should be the captain. He showed bite and fight and bark and roo, 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 Morgan Riley. And again, all of that is to be expected, right? It is. Now, I, I put out a couple of tweets here that I knew would get uh, some positive and some negative attention. They've done okay so far. Um, really quickly, allow me to just uh, to just make these uh, their own little thing really quickly. So, this was my initial response to this, saying that it should be 10 games for the cross-check to the head. Which it should be. I'm sorry, but if you cross-check someone in the head... You do, you do kind of deserve to be suspended for a long time. It won't be a 10-game suspension because, as this says, the NHL sucks, the DOPS sucks, and hockey culture sucks. The NHL sucks because the NHL just sucks. Like, we know this. It's um, I don't know how anyone could have the takeaway that the NHL doesn't suck after the last three years or so that they have gone through. The DOPS sucks for all the reasons that every hockey fan agrees that they suck um, in that, you know, something like this might be like two games, maybe three shit. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets fined. I wouldn't be surprised if nothing happens to Morgan Riley at all, because as I responded to somebody on this, I am sure George Peros just full mast, full mast. You know, George Peros loved this, 
Ah, oh, violent gentlemen. Yeah, buy the t-shirt. Um, and of course, hockey culture sucks. Because for as much as people talk about, oh, I could tell who played and who didn't. Oh, the code. As much as people talk about hockey being this, this gritty game for men and warriors and all nice men and warriors, this... Right, and and some the only words I could possibly think to perfectly describe that this rustled a lot of Jimmy's, a lot. This is offensive to a lot of hockey players, a lot of people who are, just love the sport in general. This is offensive. How dare you, Ridley Greg? How dare you, Showboat? How dare you not just lightly tap it in, tuck the puck, you know, tuck the puck in for a good night's sleep, give it a pat on the head, slowly skate back to the bench, afraid that you scored. Sorry, Morgan. Sorry, Austin. I, I didn't want to score on the empty net. And then you sit down and you write the essay, your formal apology to the Maple Leafs for scoring on the empty net. Um, that's the right way to do it because that's the code. Act like you've been there. Uh, but at the same time, people will say, we want personality. We want players to show that they care. Well, clearly this game mattered a lot to Ridley Gregg and the Senators to get a win over a rival. And though obviously I didn't shut your dumb face. Um, there's your personality. And what's the response? Not that type of personality. That's the wrong type of personality. That's disrespectful to the code. Act like you've been there. And I'm not salty. You're salty. And you're a pussy if you think he, he should, Morgan Riley should be suspended. You're a pussy if you think that. Ridley Gregg should have known better. And Again, hockey culture pretends to be the toughest thing on earth. And everybody is so soft, except when they're in junior hockey and sexually harassing the younger kids. Um, you know, they're not soft then. Uh, but once you get on the ice in the NHL, oh, you're you're the softest fucking people alive that, you know, you shot it into the net the wrong way, buddy. We're going to fucking fight. It's just it's hilarious. Um, and like I said here, too, the only thing that gets hurt with that slap shot is feel. Jesus Christ, people need to stop. Uh, the only thing that gets hurt with that slap shot is feelings. That cross check, whether or not you think Ridley Gregg deserved it or not, can cause a concussion, could fucking break a guy's neck. You could kill the guy. Let's be honest, right? If a bar fight out on the street, one punch, a dude fucking hits his head the wrong way. You never fucking know. Morgan Riley hits him the wrong way. He hits his head the wrong way. He hits his neck off the dasher. You can come up with a variety of different things that could have happened that didn't. But in a world where, well, we had an on-ice death not all that long ago. Different scenario, of course. But it's an inherently dangerous sport. So anytime you're going to, you know, take your fucking stick and cross-check someone in the head, you got to realize what the consequences of that could be. And apparently, the consequences of this slap shot into an empty net, you know that crowd would be out there saying, like, well, it's really unfortunate what happened. Um, you know, Ridley Gregg got seriously hurt, but he should have known better. Softest fucking sport. The softest. The same people would be like, oh, that's soccer and people diving all the time. They're so soft. The softest fucking group of fans at least with a major online presence in the world are hockey fans and it's not even close and i say that being a hockey fan with hockey being my favorite sport it is the softest we'll get to these responses in a second because some of them are great um again i mentioned this in regards to don't show about too much don't show about the wrong way i mean jesus christ Nail Yakupov never lived down the first goal he ever scored because, oh, you celebrated too hard. <laughs> so, you know, kind of recapped what I had here. But the good news is 
is uh, people are still picking this up. So let's look at some of these responses here. Let me refresh this tweet really quickly. Uh, so to the one about tucking the puck in, shout out to Phil. Oh, we got this one. We got that one that I did respond to. Again, a reminder that the Bruins lost earlier today to the Capitals and got booed off the ice. Uh, you won't find any tweets from me whining about refs or anything like that because I can handle my team winning or losing. Um, ooh, you know the good ones are always hidden under show more replies. Oh, it was void. Boo. Boo void. It's a good tweet, but boo void. Okay, we didn't get any good ones there except for the uh, except for the you're a loser, but there are some good ones coming. Primarily to the main one, but really quickly, really quickly. Again, I did mention here as well that I don't think Morgan Riley's going to even get fined at this point. I certainly don't think he'll miss a game. Uh, let's see. Give me some. Uh, give me. Give me some good stuff here. Give me some good stuff here. Ah, yes, the code. There's a code. You got to remember the code, though. All right, here we go. Give me some good stuff here. Oh, goodness. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I like this one, though. Do the Michigan, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that, what the fuck is Grok, anyway? That would have been hilarious if he did the Michigan. Oh, let's see. Let's see. We're, I need another good one. If Nyes scored that goal, they'd be creaming themselves. <laughs> it's kind of true. I, I've said as much to Leafs fans uh, that are friends of mine. You got to be honest with yourself and say if the shoe was on the other foot and Matthew Nyes did this and Thomas Shabbat cross-checked Matthew Nyes in the head. Oh, oh, it would be it would be a tragedy. And there's the soccer insult, which is why I mentioned soccer a few minutes ago, because all of these typical responses are so predictable. So predictable. It's the best. It's the absolute best. And then here we go. The, the main one. I already I saw some of these. I haven't seen all of them, though. Um, that's hilarious, by the way, Rob. Good tweet. Good tweet. Let's see. I've been told that we're, uh, her feelings are worse than concussions. It's true. It's true. They are. Peron got six, which again. Per oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. I've never seen a profile picture scream incel virgin so much in my life. <laughs> I'll leave a like on that. Now, by the way, this guy's profile picture is Phil Kessel with a mustache. Um, mine um, is at uh, Assembly, which is a uh, gaming convention held in Helsinki every year. Uh, where that is obviously one sim for the win next to me, uh, where we were doing uh, a pretty historic NHL esports uh, broadcast last February. Um, keep in mind, on the other side of the camera, now where I'm looking, if I were to have looked to the left, I would have seen my now wife in the stands there supporting me. Um, so uh, not an incel and not a virgin, but damn, he got me. He did sin dirty in the profile picture. I know. I honestly, I kept it that way because it's fucking funny. <laughs> just makes me laugh um good tweet though good tweet good tweet i i don't like your hockey opinion so you're an incel virgin typical typical twitter typical twitter i like it i'm hoping we can get better than that i'm hoping uh let's see oh we got a we got a what from austin i wonder who he's a fan of uh clean hit <laughs> that's just a good tweet we got the snowflake uh, LOL, you're such a nerd. Actually, hold on. Are any of these people following me, too? No. I, I, it's the best when you find out that they're following you, too. You're such a nerd. Go cry about Hulk Hogan some more. <laughs> so that one has to be in reference to the fact that I found it hilarious uh, that the WWE, just a few days after the whole, hey, Vince McMahon's even worse of a person than you thought... I mentioned I thought it was funny that they then brought out Hulk Hogan, uh, noted racist Hulk Hogan, to be like, yeah, rally for the rumble, brother. <laughs> but that's crying about Hulk Hogan, saying I find it hilarious that WWE's attempts to put out the fire of Vince McMahon was to be like, come on down, Hulkster. Feel free to look up Hulk Hogan's comments, by the way. Um, a lot of ER. A lot of ER. Not A- but a lot of ER for Hulk Hogan. So I'm a big fan of that. Aren't you the former streamer or are you a different name? Oh, yeah, you're definitely the former streamer. 
That's a shame. Uh, maybe there's a reason he's a former streamer at the end of the day. Um, delete this clown take. You're such a snowflake. Oh, it's Rems. <laughs> You're such a snowflake. Stick to soccer and FIFA. This isn't a video game. There are consequences to your actions when you're playing a physical sport. You can't let a 21-year-old clown on a rival or clown on a rival show you up on Hockey Night in Canada either. That's not a sentence, but that's okay. Ten games for that. Stick to making NHL 24 videos. Is that not actually Remps? That's a shame. Says so fake Remps out there. Some people are too soft for, for their many other hobbies. Guys, I'm too soft for sports. I am. I'm too soft. I'm too soft for sports. I am. I'm too soft. It's it's a shame. I'm, I'm a soft, soft boy. Uh, such a shit take. I don't understand why you people want to pussify the game. Pussify the game. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude, I should add that to my Twitter profile. Pussifying the game, one take at a time. Also, we dropped a you people. Is pussify a word? Let's not let's not focus on the details, chat. Let's not focus. Am I too woke for this sport? Clearly. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Suspension worthy, absolutely. But based on recent suspension, five games. Ten plus isn't even close. Uh stick came at arm height. Greg pushed the stick up and it goes to his head. From all people, I'd expect better from you. Uh, then we got the crying baby. Here's the links for all the cross checks to the head over the last three years with their length, which honestly is kind of the point, right? That's kind of the point. Ridley Gregg got uh, two games a couple of years ago for a cross check to the head. This kind of goes to my point that the Department of Player Safety sucks. If none of these cross checking to the head examples resulted in more than five games. Just cross checks Borowiecki right in the fucking chin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, you know, don't worry about it. The, oh, I remember this one. Two games. Austin Matthews, the uh, the outdoor game. Right to the fucking neck of Rasmus Dahlin. Could have killed the guy. Call me a woke pussy if you want to for saying that, but that is the truth. That action could kill somebody. <laughs> he got two games because the NHL is a tragedy in terms of player safety. They don't give a fuck. Manjapani got a game for this, by the way, which again could also kill somebody. But, you know, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. Although, in fairness, it's please explain why this should be 10 games. Because the standard for suspension should be higher. It's not that this example is less. It's that those examples from before were not properly handled. Therefore, those should have been higher and Morgan Riley doing something like this is brutal. If you're Greg, be a man and take what's coming. Fuck around and find out. Greg's poor head got hit by the knob of the stick. Cry me a river, snowflake boy. If you don't like being culpable for your actions, watch tennis instead. Ooh, this one got hidden. Although this might be a porn bot. Is the pussy in bio? Riley, gutless little shit, and that's coming from Lee's fan. Wow, shout out to Goon. Real glass, cry me a river. And obviously, in the time I've been talking about this, people haven't stopped, uh, whether it be liking, retweeting, or responding to this. Um, it's fun, though. It's fun, though. Is there any other new good stuff here? Um, let's see. Shout out to Arcade Regiment. Good dude. Good dude. Good dude. Um, see, that that's what I said right there, and, and Phil, of course, mentioned it. For Leafs fans, a lot of them are just happy that there was finally a sign of life shown. A sign of that, hey, somebody gives a shit. Because if Morgan Riley didn't do what he did, Leafs fans would be up in arms. I love Steve Dangle. His take tonight would be, how could you not do anything? That would be the take. Is If Morgan Riley doesn't cross-check Ridley Gregg in the head... It would be, you rolled over and died, you don't give a fuck, 
blow the team up because nobody gives a shit. And that's, of course, because the code is what it is, which is ridiculous. Again, uh, but I'm I'm too soft. I am a soft, sno- soft, soft snowflake. Snowflake. I can barely speak. I'm such a snowflake. I was hoping there'd be some other good ones, but, you know, you know, Endo, well done. Well done. He should have expected a fight. Greg knew what he was doing. The response was bad, but people would be flaming. Li- well, see, Burns, he proved my point right there as well. Um, at the end of the day, I just had fun getting to uh, rile people up on Twitter because it was very easy. Um, I've lost a fair amount of followers in an hour, which is always my goal. My goal on Twitter is to lose as many followers as I possibly can. It's a small number anyway. Um, trust me, I know I'm insignificant on the internet and that's fine, but I do have enough people care about what I have to say to either watch me say this live or I am going to put this up on YouTube. Um, it's fun. It's fun to rile people up on the internet, um, when it's that easy. And it is incredibly easy sometimes. At the end of the day, um, I think I think both sides are correct in that hockey code is bullshit, right? It is bullshit at the end of the day, and that's fine. I got to mute the Baltimore for a second. I'm sorry, Justin. Otherwise, I'm going to get boffed on YouTube. Um, Look, he knew what he was doing. He knew he'd probably get cross-checked in the fucking head for it. It's what you expect. On the other side, is it fucking stupid? Yes. Is it indicative that tough, manly hockey culture is actually bullshit and that the vast majority of people who subscribe to that are actually incredibly soft? Yes, and their response to this will be, no, Toogie, you're soft. You're the soy boy. You're fat. He's fat. That, that'll that be most of them, right? Which is perfectly fine by me. Um, I just like riling people up. Uh, but there are some smart people out here who agree uh, that, yeah, the NHL sucks. The DOPS is a fucking joke, not just because of this, but for everything that's been under ter- uh, Paris' tenure, uh, and hockey culture in general is, uh, it's all a front. <laughs> that's what it is. It's people being like, this is the sport for men. What do you mean now, Yakupov glid to center ice on his knees, celebrating a game tying goal? Or was it an overtime? I don't even remember. What do you mean Ridley Gregg took a slap shot instead of just tapping it in? Tap, tap, tap a roo, and then keep your head down and apologize, skating to the bench. Shout out to fat asses, and shout out to the gifted sub. Um, damn it. <laughs> At the end of the day, the NHL sucks. The NHL sucks, and people on Twitter, this app is still free. They still haven't made us pay for it all the time. There are a lot of people who will pay for the check mark. Um, this app is free, and it's so... So easy to rile people up. It's it's the best. It's the best. So uh, keep an eye out. Yeah, I was wondering how long it would take for Trump to make an appearance. Um, from the Lazarus account as well, which uh, is, I know directly, it's, it's the guy who runs the org behind the account as well. Um, keep an eye out. I think you'll get some fun responses over the next day or so. On the Twitter side of things, uh, and the YouTube comments, once I post this, will, there'll be some good ones as well. Let's not forget, uh, forget the great Tampa War of 2020, where I pissed off all the Lightning fans for saying that they were irresponsible for hosting a parade before a vaccine was out there during the pandemic. I've been a, I've been a liberal snowflake cuck for a long time. You can't hurt me! Uh, I I love the internet. I do. I fucking love the internet. It's a good time.